moment to walk through a couple of settings that will help you and your meeting attendees better utilize GoToMeeting. Um, the first will be around some user experience, and the second will be linking or utilizing GoToMeeting via our Google Calendars functionality. When you first log into GoToMeeting, you're going to see the, your, your main meeting page on the right. Uh, this holds your personal meeting room link, which can be sent to anyone via text or email. And as long as you have joined that meeting, they can utilize that link to join with you. Think of this as quick huddles, uh, things that may not already be on your calendar. On the left, it has the ability to create a meeting so that you can schedule it and invite attendees. However, we are going to show you how to link this through to Google Calendar in a second. If you can click on settings on the left hand side and scroll down about halfway through, you're going to see an attendee experience set section. Um, these two boxes you're going to want to have checked. The first is giving attendees full access to screen share. This way you don't have to go into the attendees list within the GoToMeeting and personally make each individual a presenter, um, which cr creates a little bit more speed in, in the interaction within the GoToMeeting. And the second is for those clients or, or attendees that don't have GoToMeeting already downloaded because they're not a heavy GoToMeeting user, if they're leveraging a Chrome browser, they can actually use the web application, which helps speed up their onboarding time or, or getting them into the meeting faster. Uh, once you've selected both of those checkboxes, make sure you go down to the bottom and hit save down here in the lower right hand corner. Um, once you've saved that, click on Calendar Sync and launch the link for Google Calendar. This is going to take you to a screen where you can link GoToMeeting with an Outlook, O365, Google Cal, and, and, and add it in as a Chrome web extension. What you're going to want to do is download the Google Calendar. And right here, you should see this actually as an install button. Um, click on that and walk through the login settings. Once that has been done and you go over to your Google Calendar and set a new meeting, you will then be able to click into location and conferencing and see that you have GoToMeeting personal room, which is that uh, always on personal room I said, or set a GoToMeeting session, which will give a unique meeting ID to the attendees or to that list. The benefit there is that if you have your main personal GoToMeeting open, um, anyone with the link can join it, whereas the, the GoToMeeting session is only sent to those users within the, uh, the actual Google invite. And so if we click on that right now, you'll see that it created a unique pin specifically for this meeting. One thing to check when you are, or if you have already seen that go to meeting in your inbox or within your, sorry, within your Google Calendar settings is to go to settings within GCal, scroll all the way to the bottom and see an add-ins. If you see go to meeting add-on down here on the bottom, then it's added correctly, but you may want to click on settings and ensure that it is your name right here and you have not logged in via another user, either an admin or a projects account. Uh, once you've done that, you should be all set to go.